helping Mr. Russell with his genealogy has, has been very interesting to say the least. He it was very fortunate that he has a lot of information himself already. I'm kind of a family of, of a lot of like lawyers. <laughs> and for some reason, I got this entertainment gene. Hello, Cincinnati! It really is kind of my job to determine, first of all, if that, if that information that he has is correct, and then second of all, to try to put it together in some kind of cohesive story or, or make it a little bit more organized so that there's not too much trouble in, in looking through his genealogy. We're here to help anybody who's interested in starting their genealogy by offering them help finding uh, particular facts or information uh, that they're not able to find themselves. And we can do that in person, over the phone, or via email. Either way, um, we're here to help you out. I remember seeing in these old photos, there was this one person who was a great, great uncle. And you'd see him dressed up as a Mikado, and you'd see him, uh, you know, he, he, was, he was always, you know, a, a, was like a, a dandy. And, and I'd hear stories about the fact that he was an elocutionist. Oh, yeah. And everyone would say, oh, John, you got the elocutionist gene. You know, it's recessive, but, you know, <laughs> someone else had it several generations back. I thought that James Townsend Russell was probably the most interesting of your ancestors. There we go. Um, and not just because he was an elocutionist, which was basically a performer who would, he traveled about the country uh, doing dramatic readings, singing, uh, a little bit of everything, performing. Um, and we, I have a few reviews uh, from some newspapers oh, wow. for him. Wow, New, New York well. Tribune, New yeah. York Times, man, <laughs> he's setting the bar high. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, American Originals, where we celebrate uh, a great American music making, uh, and this, this project, we have the kind of the code name 1918, because uh, the year of 1918 was the end of World War I, uh, and this will be released in 2018 on the 100th anniversary. And There's supposed to be some relationship to Ulysses S. Grant in here oh. somewhere. In your grandfather's scrapbook, uh, he mentions that a couple times. The ancestor is Clarissa Grant Russell. Right. Um, and he mentioned her initially as a niece of mm -hmm. Ulysses S. Grant. Well, that was quickly disproved because she was 40 years older than Ulysses oh. S. Grant, born 40 years earlier. So she couldn't be a niece. But he'd also, in another place, mentioned that she was a cousin of mm -hmm. Ulysses S. Grant. So I thought, well, she's definitely not a niece. Right. Uh, far too old for that. Um, but perhaps she is a cousin. So I did look for quite a while, <laughs> not only at uh, the, the, uh, her genealogy, but also Ulysses Grant's genealogy, mm -hmm. trying to go back a little bit further and see if I could establish any kind of connection, you know, some right. kind of... And I just wasn't able to, unfortunately. Mm. My feeling is that if there were a connection... That would have probably been noted there because that's a pretty notable connection sure. to be related to a president in some form or fashion. So that's kind of the other thing that leads me to believe that might that now that might have been something that your grandfather <laughs> stretch the truth. He saw the name Grant and, and thought, thought hey, we'll go for it. <laughs> I think studying and knowing your genealogy and discovering all the different family members that have come before you is not only very rewarding, but also very interesting. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you. <laughs>